Hi guys, um, this is Nikki Rowland and today I am designing a layout for Shimmer's Paints. Um, today I am um, using, I'm going to colour in a whole sheet of cardstock, well it's not quite a whole sheet nearly, um, with um, colour directly from the bottles. So I'm going for four different shades of blue um, and I'm literally dipping my paintbrush in and I'm covering the whole of the top of that sheet with my first colour uh, which is Jenny B Blue. Um, I've then then you need to use um, Vibes uh, Frostbite and I'm using that um, with uh, just taking it directly out of the bottle um, and um, using a paintbrush to do that so um, literally just pulling the colour directly out of the bottle with my paintbrush dipping my paintbrush into the bottle um, and then painting along in wide strips um, I'm going to try and um, blend the colours in in as well um, but um, I will uh, yeah do my best to do that but I haven't done that yet I'm going to do that um, in a bit um, I will um, now going to use, oh there we go, I'm doing it now. Um, so I've uh, dipped my paintbrush in some water and I'm just blending the colours together ever so slightly. Um, I am now going to use a darker colour. Um, now this is, oh, this, the third one sorry was uh, Vibes Deep Blue Sea um, and this fourth one I wanted it as dark as I could get it um, and I've gone for Inkling's Steely Blue Eyes which is a really really lovely rich deep dark navy. Um, so um, yeah this is um, a great colour um, to use uh, for this. Um, okay, so that is my um, my first part done, really. So I now need to let it dry. Um, and uh, I want to get some splatters onto here as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that at this point. Um, I'll, I'm Because my top part has already started to dry a bit, I can now add the splatters at the top part. Um, I've taken it directly from the bottle again, I'm just using the droppers to uh, splatter some um, splatters in place. And I'm going over kind of colour on colour. Oh, I decided that the dropper wasn't good enough, so I've used my paintbrush. I have more control sometimes with the paintbrushes. Um, and now um, I'm just going in with the third colour, so that's the deep blue C. Sorry, I'm doing it upside down now, so that's just extra confusing. <laughs> and now going in for the darkest one. Um, so I didn't think my darkest one was dry enough at this point, but um, it seems to be sitting on top really nicely rather than bleeding in. Um, so it was obviously dry enough. So um, it does only take a few seconds to dry it slightly um, so that you can then add the splatters and they sit on top rather than blend in. So uh, that, that worked well actually. Um, okay, so I'm going to set that aside to dry. I may need to um, get my heat tool out at some point, but uh, right now I'm just going to leave it to one side because I have some fun cutting to do. Um, so today I'm using the Cocoa Vanilla Studio um, Legendary Collection um, and I just love this giant medallion. I've had it in my stash for a couple of months now and uh, I haven't got around to using it. I keep looking at it and thinking oh I love that, definitely crying to be cut out. Um, but um, I've looked at it a few times and just, just not done it. So today is the day um, and I'm just using my scissors to fussy cut around the edge of that medallion. It's actually very simple to cut out because it's just a kind of pinked or zigzag um, design around the edge so very simple lots of triangles <laughs> um, so I'm just spending a bit of time uh, cutting that out and getting that done um, by the way guys uh, full disclosure unfortunately I've lost a bit of video footage at the end of the video I have a new um, software to record my videos on um, and there's been a few teething problems and it cuts out if my battery um, life goes below a certain level so um, I now have to make sure that my uh, phone is plugged in at all times otherwise it just cuts out um, which uh, has caught me out twice now unfortunately so this video is one of those. Um, you don't miss too much uh, just putting together the video sorry the layer at the end um, putting a final finishing touches on so uh, apologies for that in advance but you you saw have seen all the mixed media stuff which is um, probably the most important part of this video so so yeah sorry about that um, and uh, I need to get a better charger because my um, sometimes the one that I plug into my phone while I'm filming um, just disconnects itself randomly so <laughs> I'll have to uh, find a new one of those as well honestly you sort one problem out and then you get six more um, <laughs> anyway uh, right so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting my um, piece of mixed media into strips um, I've roughly gone um, with the colour areas, although I have um, 
actually overlapped in some places um, and then I'm cutting them into uh, so they're two inches by two inches that's uh, I'm cut, cut them into two inch strips with and then I'm cutting them two inches across as well um, and that is because I want to cut my letters by hand and I figured that it's best to have um, a starting square that are all the same size they end up some of them end up thinner than others um, but if I start with them all at the same size then that gives me a starting point and uh, it's kind of a template to work with um, so um, yeah I have done the I've just literally cutting them by hand we all know what alphabet letters look like um, so they're not too hard to do um, I did totally mess up the R which you'll see me get wrong in a minute um, but um, other than that letters are actually really quite easy to uh, cut out in this kind of chunky font uh, as long as you're not too worried about them looking amazing or perfect um, and the whole point of cutting out um, hand cut letters is so that they're not perfect so um, I'm happy with the way they um, they turned out definitely I love the look it's something a bit different to do with your mixed media um, rather than create a background this time I've created a title uh, with my mixed media on instead um, so you can see those letters have all gone quite well even the N which is slightly more complicated than others um, and then I'm doing um, T U now oh now I'm on the R right so this is where I went really really wrong um, and uh, for some reason I couldn't get an R to look right so um, I've done it there I don't like the look of it and I'm doing the E now just to finish off and then I end up redoing the R so I had to get another um, I had to get another uh, piece of um, that strip uh, yeah, so I had to get another piece of that strip um, and um, recut it again. So I think I did it twice more because I think I messed up the second one too. Uh, I don't think I've done it yet. Um, so um, yeah, so I'm just now going over with my black fine liner pen and giving an outline to my al alphabet uh, letters um, and uh, just going around the outside and putting in the middle details as well. So the D and the R needed middle sections and the A, sorry, and the A. They need the middle sections, so uh, just getting those um, done so that they look um, good. It just gives some extra definition. They did look okay on their own, but definitely needed that middle section. I decided that I wasn't going to cut those middle bits out. I could have done, but oh look, here I am messing around with the R because I really didn't like it. So basically, I tried to tidy it up with scissors, and it just didn't look right. So I've had to do it again. Um, so um, I'm having a go now with the second piece, and I don't think I like that one either. So I'd have another. Go. <laughs> um, and I've had to draw it on another piece of paper to see if I can get it right um, and look at and look at one from a different collect from a collection uh, an R alphabet letter <laughs> so I just couldn't get it right anyway I'm just about happy with that one and now putting my outline on there um, and I say I think they do look good with the um, definition um, my pen line is a really thin one it's just 0 0.1 um, so it could have been uh, a much thicker line if I'd gone for a thicker pen um, so uh, but I was happy with that I think it gives it enough definition um, so now I can move on to the remainder of the layout so now I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do um, with this layout so I've got my um, my letters I was thinking about where I'm going to put my medallion am I going to put it at the top or the bottom or the corner or the side or what so I just played around with a few options I didn't like the look of the letters on top of the dark medallion because they didn't show well enough um, I felt that they needed to go on to white or mostly on to white so um, I couldn't uh, I, I really it took me a little while to get my head around what I was going to do um, and then I decided to put some mixed media on the background and then I changed my mind um, so um, I turned off the camera and spent five minutes working out what I was going to do um, and uh, I decided to go for the medallion in this bottom left corner and then I can put the words adventure over on the right hand side now I have had planned to stack my adventure so it was ADV then E N T and then U R E, um, but um, actually with the medallion it just didn't look right. There were two really huge elements. So the medallion is huge and the title is huge. Um, so um, my page is looking a bit too cluttered. I couldn't quite fit on adventure in the stacked design that I wanted. Um, so I decided to go for um, two lines. So A D V E N and then the next line T U R E, um, and then um, I can 
tuck my photo in uh, under the A and next to the T. Um, and um, yeah, it, sh it works better like that. It looks a lot better. And that gives me some white space along the bottom and the top edges as well. Um, and uh, the whole thing just felt a bit more balanced. Um, so that was how um, I got around um, that issue there. Um, so you can see I've got my two photos. They're not the same photo. They're of the same event, um, but two separate shots. Um, one, uh, and I'm going to mount those onto um, some uh, card or paper. Um, and I'm just thinking about what my whole title is going to be. So obviously I have the word adventure and I've got the word random there. Now this story that I'm telling here is about my little boy. He's nearly two and he is a total toddlosaurus um, and he goes around and wrecks our house and pulls everything out of every drawer and every cupboard that he gets he can find. The baby locks don't seem to stop him from getting into anything. Everything's baby locked and he seems to get through them anyway. Um, he just pulls them off. <laughs> so he's like the Incredible Hulk. Um, so um, anyway, what will he be into today is the question and uh, my title is going to be Every Day is a Random Adventure because it really is. You know, one day he could have pulled all the swimming stuff out of the cupboard and the next day he would have emptied the shampoo bottle into the bath um, and the next day he would have um, unrolled a whole roll of toilet paper which in the current pandemic is not a great thing to be doing so um, we currently lock all our bathroom doors from the outside so he can't get into them um, but cupboards and drawers it's just not possible to put baby locks on every single drawer and cupboard we have so we've taken the stance of emptying all the cupboards and drawers and putting all the stuff in them in the loft that does have a baby lock on oh my word um, so um, yeah we're, we're having fun and games at the moment and uh, yes every day is a random adventure you never know what you're going to get so that's what this story is about. Um, so I'm just using the word random um, from the ephemera pack. And this is where I lost a lot of the video, guys. I'm really sorry about that. So you can you saw how I put most of the layout together, but my embellishments um, I have done off camera because my battery died and I wasn't aware of that, unfortunately. Um, but you can see I have a big cluster to the left-hand side of the photo and then a few bits over on the right-hand side. Um, okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will give this technique a try of doing the handcut letters. Um, they were great fun to do and I love the way they look. Don't forget that if you place an order via the Shimmers store, put my name in the comments and you will receive a freebie. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Shimmers Paints.